Good afternoon and welcome to Dino's Kitchen. This afternoon we're going to be making an apple pie. We're going to call it a cheater's pie because the little things we're going to cheat on, but the most important, which is the crust, we are not cheating, are we? No. No, absolutely not. So Dino, what ingredients do we have today that we are going to make our apple pie with? All-purpose flour. Crisco. Crisco. Why is it important to use Crisco? Because it's the best of the best. We don't cheat when it comes to making a pie crust because if we do, our pie crust will be greasy, it'll be nasty, it won't be flaky. we got to have a flaky crust. Okay? Salt so and cold water. Perfect. Perfect. All right. So, it's important. The other thing when we're making a, any type of recipe or if we're making a pie or a cake or anything of that magnitude, we follow the instructions, the recipe exact because if you don't it could be a flop so according to your recipe what's the first thing we need to start with uh two cups of all-purpose flour all right two cups all right and this is a two cup measure see all the way to the top it says two cups so we need two cups in there So you're going to pour it right in your measuring Open. cup. Open me. And don't do it too fast because it'll blow a powder of smoke up in your face. So you just want to gently shake it in. There you go. Hold that gently. Yeah, that was gently. That was I know, sometimes I get a little excited and, you know, go haywire. That was not gently. Oh, I apologize. I try to be gentle. All right, we're going to put that back over there. Now, let me show you an easy thing. You see these lumps in here? Mm -hmm. If we don't get those lumps out, our pie crust is going to be lumpy. Um, and if it's a lumpy pie crust, it'll get air pockets underneath. It won't bake evenly. So, you like a little sifter? Yes. Kid size, huh? Pretty cool. Yes. So what you're going to do is not throw flour on the floor because it's important that we keep it all together in the right place, you know? It has to be in the pie, not on you. Not on you. So we have to sift it. So you got to sift. Okay, so you hold this. Okay. Now I'm going to pour. Oh, you got a little bit on your face. Let's get that off. All right. Wow. All right, so you have to sift. Yeah. What are you doing? Why aren't you backwards? There you go. Sift. Crank. There you go. Crank it in. Mm. There you go. You're cranking now. You're cranking. There you go. Crank it up. And this takes all these little lumps and gets them out. So we have a great wow. pie crust. See, wow. everything doesn't have to be perfect. So we just sift a little, shake a little. This is very old. It is old. Are you talking about me or the sifter? The just, sifter. Oh, okay, just checking. So I'm just gonna come behind you like this and we're gonna kind of sift together. I'll like flour that. more. Oh, gotta make sure we kind of get it flour all. Flour more. Ooh, ah. Yes, we got it all, yes. All of it's in there, shake tired. it. You're doing great. Oh, you need a little help? Yes. See? When you're an old experienced beggar like me, you don't even have to shake. You just do this. Wow. And it just all comes right out. Right out. Say, <laughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, goodness. I apologize for that. <laughs> I that? do apologize. Whoa. You know, that's, how that's what happens in the kitchen when you're not careful. It happens like, <laughs> oh, excuse me. Now, what do we got to do next? I think we are. Uh, what's next? It what? says we have to mix our flour and salt. How much salt? Um, How much salt? Uh, um, That'd be the second. One teaspoon of salt. How much? One teaspoon. That's a tablespoon. All right. And that's a tablespoon. We need a teaspoon. Did we not get out a teaspoon? One teaspoon or a half? teaspoon. Here we go. One teaspoon. Um, All right. You got to be real careful. We don't want flour in this. So let's just get a paper towel. Let's just do it right here on the paper towel. You sure are messy in the kitchen. How did we messy. make this mess? You just, me? You just need flour on me. I don't have flour on me. It's all on you. What happened to you? You sneezed. Oh, I sneezed and did that. Great gravy. All right. If you'll hold this evenly. Okay. Make sure it's even and we're going to how can I fill tell? this I'm up? Only a kid. Well, you're good at this, and um, I'll try really hard not you're touching to sneeze. It. You're yeah, touching my it. hands are clean. 
That's what's important in the Those kitchen. Those are lies. That your hands you are clean. just sneezed. I sneezed on you. I didn't sneeze on my hands. Great gravy. Oh. It's important that we get. Are you sure it's a teaspoon of salt? That's a lot of salt. That's All right. All right. We should have went with the other thing and just kind of scooped it out of the thing. Who's a broad idea? Was it to kind of grind it? Uh, yours. Oh, 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 mine. All right. Well, look at all this you got all over the paper towel. We're uh, just gonna just help. You know, some professional cooks would probably have all this measured out ahead of time, but those professional days are over. Uh, we'll just throw that in. We'll crank the timer or two. Looks good to me. Tap it off. All right. So now you gotta mix it up. Use your fork. Okay. Mix your salt in with your flour. Really, really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, you got to get it in there really good. Mm. <sighs> Alright, you got that done? Uh, Alright, so now what does it say we got to do next? It says... Cut in the lard. What? Is that like passing gas or something? What is that? Cut in the lard. I don't know. You make no sense. Alright, so we got to have two cups cup of lard. Or, we're not using lard, because that's like off a pig. We're, we're not going that route, okay? We're going to high class this uh, time. I think two, we're going to go two-thirds of Crisco? Two-thirds cup plus two tablespoons. Wow. So you got to have two of those Jeez. and two-thirds of a cup. And we have to say, abracadabra, uh, Heavenly Father, we need at least two-thirds cups out of there. Uh, so our patra will be magnificent. Now you're gonna have to dry that because you wet it. All right, so we gotta have two thirds cup. Why did we not do all this ahead of time? Lord, we're crazy. I guess things would go a little quicker if we would do our measuring ahead of time. So I guess we're hoping our fans don't have too much to do today, um, that they can dedicate their time to us in the kitchen. Who says fans? I think we need to get some more measuring cups it says we because have uh, it says we have I can't even read that. Measure. I can't read the things got, on the side. We just chopped. We just started this channel. Oh, we're great. Uh, we're gonna have millions of viewers right off the bat because you know how many kids out there don't get to cook with their nini. You know, a professional baker and all. Well, you know. Yeah. All right. So now we're. What are you doing with that? We're past that. I gotta teach you how to. Overcome, adapt. Everything doesn't have to be precise. I know in the beginning I said it had to be, but you're going to learn to adapt. That's all right. So you're going to cut this in with your fork. Wow. What size are we looking for? Um, what did I tell you? You didn't tell me pinky size. There you go. I did tell you. See, you were supposed to tell a lie on me. All right. Cut it in. What? Cut it in with that fork. Mix it up real good. Mix it up. You could have just said mix it. But the recipe said cut. So I was trying to follow that recipe. You know, when you quit hitting me. Why are you hitting me? Uh, yeah, I'm not trying to. All right. We got, we're making progress. Yeah. We're making progress. We're doing great. No, we aren't. Don't y'all like my little sister? Isn't that just the cutest darn thing you ever seen? Mm -hmm. All right. Uh -uh. You can't waste it. Got to be good. All right. Got to fold you it in. Then. All right. Look at here. See, you use your fork backwards. That just makes no sense. That's not how a fork is used. Well, we're using it in order to mix. We're not eating with it. Mm. You know, so it is important. You know, a, a fork can be used for a lot of different things. Um, it can be used as a weapon. I, Have you ever had to defend yourself in I the kitchen with a fork? I will use this as a weapon. Ooh, don't do that because then we can't make any more goodies. Put the money in the bag. I already did. I paid for the flour. All right. See how we're getting pea size here? Papa paid for it. No, he didn't. Did you see Papa at the store with me? Yes. You do tell a lie. All right. We're Look, getting pea size did you, here. Ooh. Did you really just buy this? No. Nah, it expired last year, but Why? don't tell anybody. Why? No, I'm joking. She I bought the other bag, not this one. It didn't expire last year. Um, It expired last month, but don't tell anybody. You just said it in front of the camera. Well, so? It's not like everybody listens to every single thing, so now they're going to back it up and figure out what they missed. So, instant replay. 
You know what I mean? It's all about I will salt instant you. replay. I will salt you. All right. See, we got pea size here. What else you need in here? Um, Four to five tablespoons of water. All right. Yeah, start getting our water in here. Okay. Nope. Four to five tablespoons. Your monkey. Get your big monkey there. You're a monkey. Four to five. Fill it up. It needs to be right. All right. Yep. Count them out. Um, Ooh. Two. Three. Okay. Four. Five. That wasn't that wasn't full, so give me another one. Whew, it's hot in this kitchen. That ain't even full. Can you not see it's not full? I can see perfectly. All right, that'll probably be enough after that one. And that goes back to me telling you to follow the recipe, Lord Jesus. I don't think this recipe is gonna be off by too much, but we won't tell about it. We don't need any more salt. Too much salt? I will salt you. Your crust will be salty if you put too much salt in all. Salty. All right. I think we need a little bit more water. I am not 100% on this pie crust. When was that book made, 100 years ago? Um. I think, would you come give me another tablespoon of water, sir? Oh, let's get another one in there because this is I just am. not, That's not cool. the best. All right, I think that's going to do it. Now what we're going to have to do is move everything off the counter because now we've got to roll this bad boy. Are you kidding me? Nope, I'm not kidding. Not at all, I'm not kidding. What was that, Mindy? I don't know, but we fix and put this bad boy into a bowl. Great job. Woohoo! We're on a roll now. Where are you going? You gotta move your cookbook. I still think we need a. Give me a scotch of water. I think they're. Are you kidding? No, I think the recipe's off just a little bit. Because this is not forming correctly. Don't wet that. It'll ruin it. It's going to be a dry pie crust, folks. But I'll tell you what we'll do, Dino. We will add butter. butter. And I promise it'll be good and flaky. Are you making grilled cheese or a pie? Or a grilled cheese? Uh, I think we burn our sausage. I need somebody to get the sausage out of the oven. Not me. I got you. All right, Dino, come look over here under the cabinet and get my rolling pin. Under the cabinet? Yep, should be right in that door. Nope, over on the other side. All right, here we go. Can I roll it? Ooh, it's hot. Can I roll it? Yep, I'm gonna let you roll it, but you need to move the cookbook, yeah. and we need a little bit of flour to go down on the counter so our pie crust does not stick to the counter. How much? All right, kind of. Not too much, just about two tablespoons. Okay, and then we're gonna spread it out because the purpose of it that was a lot. Yeah, the purpose of this, we don't quite need that much. Um, the purpose of this is just to keep our pie crust from sticking. Don't touch me with it or I'll flour you. That's all. I'll flour you. you all right. So, there. now, it currently looks like a brain. Yours. Oh. It looks like So, what we want to be able to do uh, is you got to roll it. So, oh, sorry about that. You gotta get a little flour on it so it don't stick to that, and then you have to press. Maddie, and pray it don't Maddie, stick. Oh. Lord, mercy. Right. We gotta get this into oh, a Matthew. circle. I'm good. See it dry. Hand 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 hand. Hand. Let me put some water in this. New hand paint. Watch this. Let me get this moist. It's a bit dry. It is fun to call it wow. I'm making All right, dry that spot up right there. We had to get some more moisture in this. Wow. So we can roll it out. Ryan, can you get a paper towel? 
I got it. Okay. There we go. Now get us some flour over that. And spread it out. Now we got to divide this in half because we got to do a top and a bottom. Oh, you got to put yeah, remember you wanted a double pie crust, sir. Yes. So, now you have to roll this, okay. and it has to be thin, okay? You have to rip, nope, you gotta get on it. Okay. You have to make sure these stay up. Okay. You got to roll that bad boy into a good circle okay. and super thin. Ah! There you go, get it going. Push down, apply pressure. There you go, work it all the way around. It's not about being fast, it's about being consistent with your pressure. Remember, you're making a pie crust, it has to be round. It has to be round like I, our pie. I know, ah! See, you got a little sidetrack there. Put I some more flour I on that. your rolling pin. Yeah. And if you use too much, it's going to dry your crust out. Oh, my God. So. Why are there so many rules to making a pie? Perfection is important. And we got a hot mess here. So, we may not get a circle out of this. Maybe a rectangle. Uh, Wait, hold on. Has anybody ever heard of a... It smells very cinnamony. The pie. Yeah, we may have to patchwork this one, Dana. Ooh. Ooh. Mm -hmm. We can patchwork it. You can actually take it. We can piece it together. Okay. He should pie together uh, like can that. We, can we show them first? No, we don't want to show them our mess. Oh, Lord, we got a hot mess here. Wow. So piece this. Use this and piece your pie together. What? Yeah, it'll be good either way. We have a great crust here. So we're going to piece it together. It's kind of like doing a puzzle. <gasps> See our hot mess? Yep, we're piecing it together. See that? Yep. Oh gosh, now my face is on there. You're gonna have to bleep that out. No, she isn't. No, she is not bleeping. Yeah, I have a whole nother bowl to do. Alright, piece it together. Okay. I feel like I need more sugar. I have no idea how. It's like putting a puzzle together. You just get you some pieces of crust and put them anywhere. Put them in, that's right. Fill it in. Smack, Smack them anywhere. Yep, yeah, put them in. You can if you want, but I mean I think I need more sugar in it. Ah, move. Oh, sorry. Don't taste that good. Keep filling it in. There you go. So you can take some pieces like this. Fill that hole in. Yep. Extra crunchy crust. Right across there. It's kind of like our own little lattice work. Nobody on that. Except for the viewers. It's not like that it made a mess before, so who cares? All right, there you go. Show them your pie. We, hey, I know we call it a patchwork pie. Ta-da! Patchwork pie. Patchwork pie. Patchwork it, apple pie. It's Nene's fault. She, I take full responsibility. That looks good, though. She made the mess. Let's toss that bad boy in the oven. You ready? Okay, but, right. we, but we have to have the camera follow No, we don't need the camera to follow us because yes. you bend over, all it sees is your butt. Yeah, I don't know. So, there you go. Don't burn yourself.